hello guys good afternoon welcome back to my youtube channel this is miss henderson i hope you're having an amazing day today so today i decided to create a few questions on the prometric cna test questions again these test questions can help you um pass your cna test your prometric test um, these questions are kind of meant to deepen your understanding and, you know, shed some light on your um, CNA content. They are not meant to replace your reading. So I am going to go through a few of these slides and um, I hope you find these videos interesting, engaging. And if you do, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like and share these videos. And please drop your comments below, letting me know what other content you would like me to provide you with. So that being said, let's look at the first question. So the first question states, lymph nodes are found in hands and feet. This is a true or false. Take a moment and think about it and then I'll tell you the answer. So that moment is up and I hope you have chosen B. Lymph nodes are not found in hands and feet. Lymph nodes are found um, on your neck, your axillary area, and your groin area. That's where you can find lymph nodes, not on your hands and feet. So B as in boy, false for this question. Question number two. The spleen destroys all red blood cells. Now, we talked about this question in class, and I stated that the, this, this spleen is very rich in blood supply. The spleen does destroy the um, old blood cells. So this is true. Question number three. The pancreas is considered the master gland. Is that true or false? So the pancreas is, the, is not considered the master gland. The master gland is the anterior pituitary gland. So if you have read the book and read the concept in that chapter, you would know the pancreas is not the master gland. So this question is false for question number three. Question number four. The uniting of the sperm and the ovum into one cell is called menstruation. We talked about this when we were discussing the chapter. We know that this one is false because the uniting of the sperm and the ovum is called fertilization and not menstruation. So this one is false, and I hope that you can get this one correct because we did discuss this one in class. Question number five. The ovaries secrete the female hormone, estrogen and progesterone. I hope you can also get this one correct because we did talk about this one in class. And we stated that the ovaries do um, produce a hormone such as insulin, uh, estrogen, and progesterone. And the female uh, pro uh, produces testosterone. So this one is true. The ovaries do secrete estrogen and progesterone. But as you're getting into menopause, your estrogen and your progesterone levels are dropping. And that's when you're going into menopause. So we talked about this in class. Question number six. The lining of the uterus is A, the cervix, the endometrium, ovulation,
the hymen. So the lining of the uterus is what, guys? Take a moment and think about it. We talked about this one in class, and we were saying that every month you're in the matrium when there is no conception and pregnancy, you're in the matrium kind of break down, and that's when you get a menstruation. So the lining of the uterus is the endometrium. So I hope you got this one correct. Let's look at question number seven. The system that protects the body from disease and infection is? A, endocrine, B, immune system, respiratory system, cardiac system. So which system that protects your body from um, any type of infectious material? We talked about this one also in class, and I hope you came up with the immune system because the immune system is the one that protects our body from um, foreign antigens. Question number eight. The substance in the red blood cell that carries oxygen and gives blood its color is plasma, leukocytes, hemoglobin, protoplasm, so the correct answer, take a moment and think about this because we talked about this one too. So the correct answer for this one would be hemoglobin. That's the, um, the iron. Your RBCs, your red blood cell is the one that um, carries the hemoglobin molecule and rich in oxygen. So that's what give your um, color the, um, that bright red color. So question number nine, the bone that bears most of the body weight is a flat bone, short bone, long bone, irregular bone. We talked about this in class and we gave an example. We said an example of a long bone is the femur bone. And um the femur bone bear, bear most of their body weight. Imagine if you didn't have your femur bone, how would you be able to stand? It would be impossible. So an example of a long bone is the, um, uh, the, the bone that bears most of the body weight is the long bone. It's C is the correct answer for this question, long bone. And an example of the long bone is the femur bone. Okay, so do we have any more? Oh, we have one more. So the last question we have for this um, short presentation is the normal radial pulse is, is it 40 beats per minute, 45 beats per minute, 60 to 100, or 130? What is the correct answer? Because this question, a lot of times it's on prometric. What is the normal radial pulse? So the normal pulse is within 60 to 100 beats per minute. 40, no. 45, no. 60 to 100 is the normal pulse, and that's the correct answer for this question. 130 is too high. That's out of the parameters. So guys, this is it for this short video. I hope you find these few questions engaging. And if you do, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like and share these videos. And please drop your comments below and let me know what other videos um, you would like me to provide you with. Um, my goal as a nurse educator is to um, promote critical thinking and to help students to, um, you know, to be successful in their career as home health aides, CNA, RNs, or LPNs. So I hope um, I'm providing some value for you, and I hope my videos are um, deepening your understanding. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the other video. Bye for now.